it is week three of Nails Next Top Nail Artist season five, and this week is sponsored by La Chat. La Chat asked us to create a set of 10 nails using only perfect match gel polish. And the challenge is we have to depict a pairing of two things or people that go hand in hand. So I chose to honor two of my favorite artists, Jean-Michel Basquiat and Andy Warhol. They had the art world's most notorious bromance. They created numerous collaborative works crossing neo-expressionism and abstract expressionism. If you haven't heard of these two artists, you've probably seen their work before. I actually have an eyeshadow palette that was gifted to me and it was inspired by Jean-Michel Basquiat. I'm not gonna use it though, because it's special and it's cute. So I'm going to show you my interpretation on the two. Begin with a base of flawless white. Lay down black velvet and lemon drop for your first nail, which is the first of the Basquiat nails that I'm going to be doing today. Jean-Michel and a friend started a tag around the streets of New York called SAMO, which stands for Same Old. Jean-Michel was known for marrying text and image, abstraction, and using historical information mixed in with contemporary critique. He usually used multiple words, but the same words over and over and then crossed them out. Once you've cured black velvet, go in with lemon drop and cure. Cherry Cosmo to your palette and begin blending the two around the edges of the nail. Top coat to seal and cure. His subject matter usually contained people, so instead of a boxer, I did a little painter and then I added Cocoa Kisses and Divine Wine and started blending those two and other colors on the palette together. I gave my little painter a messy bun because, well, messy buns are life. Once you're done, cure and go back in with black velvet and paint a halo and some words. Cure again, top coat and cure. Now add dive in. Harmony. And Utopia to your palette. Begin the blend with dive in. And mix in into the deep. Go in with multiple colors, including Lemon Drop, Cherry Cosmo, basically everything on the palette. I feel like that's what Jean-Michel did. Whatever he had on his palette, he just put it on the canvas. Here I'm laying down the base for the beginning of the skull. I'm going in and adding little erratic lines everywhere with different colors, carrying between each color. It has to make sense, but also look like it doesn't make sense at the same time. Using the same blending technique, begin this nail with more red tones. Once you've cured your background colors, go back in with black velvet and begin painting letters. Basquiat usually did a lot of historical and political things. I decided to go for NTNA, not for the fan of heart, because it's not. Start with a base of black velvet, cure, and then go back in with flawless white and paint a crown. I'm giving this skull a little messy bun too to make it more realistic for me. The majority of his work looks like it doesn't make sense, but once you look at it for a while, it starts to make sense. Cure the white and then go in with lemon drop on the crown. Cure once again, top coat and cure. Now it's time to pay tribute to the Pope of Pop Art. Andy Warhol experimented with different styles of art, from ink blots to pop art. Create the ink blots with black velvet, cure, top coat and cure. Use Dive In and Cherry Cosmo to begin this nail. Cure and then go back in with Flawless White and paint on a Le Chat logo and 79 cents. Paint the bottom half of a banana with Lemon Drop. Cure and then go back in with Black Velvet and add the lines. On the original painting that I was inspired by on this nail, Andy went in and added Jesus. So instead of adding Jesus, I decided to go for the Virgin Mary. He used a method called silk printing, which gave him the ability to stamp on the same exact photo everywhere. With black velvet, add the word the and some lines on the sides to fill up some space. Cure, top coat, then cure. Sponge on cocoa kisses to give it a stressed look. With black velvet, paint a can reminiscent of the Campbell's soup can. Carefully paint the word soup and add concrete jungle to your palette. Fill in the top portion of the can with Cherry Cosmo. Blend together Cocoa Kisses and Lemon Drop for the seal. Fill in the metal part of the can with Concrete Jungle and Cure. Top coat and Cure. 
lot of Andy's famous works were actually commission works, so instead of Coca-Cola, I did La Chat soda. Once you're done painting the bottle, go back in with Flawless White and paint La Chat. Top coat and cure. Sponge on South Beach over a base of Cocoa Kisses, and use a dotting tool to create circles. Andy went through a series of paintings called Oxidation Paintings. Outline the nail with black velvet to make it cohesive with the rest of the set. Top coat and you're done. Here is the finished set. The right side is inspired by Jean-Michel Basquiat, and the left side is inspired by Andy Warhol. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that Andy Warhol coined the phrase 15 minutes of fame? I hope you love the nails and the tutorial. I can't wait to put these on display. So what I need from you guys is to go click my link in my description bar and go vote. Voting is from Monday to Thursday, and thanks for watching.